Are you using your extra hotbars like this? These collapsible hotbars are pretty useful, but usually come with the drawbacks of having complicated setups and seriously chewing through your hotbar real estate, giving you way less freedom to arrange whatever you have left to your liking. But if you're a keyboard and mouse player like me, chances are you have over 120 hotbar slots just sitting about doing nothing, and it comes in the form of this. That's the cross hotbar, that thing you probably dismissed as being just for controller players. But it's 8 layouts, each with 16 buttons, giving you a total of 128 slots to work with. And because it's functionally no different than a regular hotbar, it can also be a convenient place to access jobs, your minions, those mounts, and any other junk you want to stick here. Not only does this free up all your regular hotbars, it doesn't rely on those hotbar copy macros that are really annoying to modify because they're tied to unused classes. Furthermore, it doesn't have to lock you out of using the cross hotbar conventionally, since any unshared hotbar layouts can still be used to set up any job specific actions or items. If you like using a controller for certain tasks, you're still going to have the flexibility to do that. Setting this up is really simple. Open up the character config, go into your hotbar settings, and select the sharing tab. You're going to need one shared hotbar to act as the menu control, and then up to eight shared cross hotbars to act as the menu interface itself. We can also enable the cross hotbar from this menu. Now we're going to need up to 10 macros. So open up the user macro menu, one of these macros toggles the respective HUD elements from being active or not. I'd recommend assigning this macro to a keybind. The toggle macro should look something like this. Let's break it down. At minimum, it needs to toggle the cross hotbar and menu hotbar on and off. You can also assign a cross hotbar to open by default. In this example, cross hotbar 1 displays whenever I press the toggle. The same macro can also toggle any other hotbars or other UI elements you don't want to see all the time. The second macro is very similar to the first, and simply toggles everything off to ensure everything is synchronised. The remaining 8 macros will point to a specific cross hotbar to open. The macro for these looks like this. This one opens up cross hotbar 1, this one number 2, and so on. Now you can put all these macros on the menu hotbar and start assigning whatever you want to the cross hotbar slots. Any changes you make will stick when you change to other jobs and vice versa. And uh, that's it. That's the entire setup. Takes less than two minutes to do and is way easier to modify down the line. Please, uh, shill the cross hotbar to your friends by sharing this video and, uh, see you whenever. D don't, don't look at my upload schedule. Also, you can catch me stream.